Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, 5 times the square root of 2x plus the square root of 5 times minus 4 square root of 2x plus the square root of 5x. Okay? Well, what I want to do here is, uh, since I cannot simplify within each um, parentheses here. I'm going to multiply all parts of my first parenthesis times all parts of my second parenthesis. So I draw my arcs to make sure I've done that step here. And 5, uh, five times square root of 2x times a minus 4 square root of 2x. Well, 5 times the minus 4 is a minus 20. And then we combine this into one big, um, one big square root here of 2 times 2 times x times x. That's an x right there. Okay. Now, we do that, that's 5 square root of 2x times square root of 5x. 5 is just on the outside, and we square root here of, well, put our numbers together, 2 times 5 times x times x. Okay? Now, next part here, square root of 5 times a minus 4 square root of 2x is a minus 4 square root into one big square root here of 5 times 2x. Okay? Then lastly here, square root of 5 times the square root of 5x combines to be one big square root, 5 times 5 times x. Okay, so now let's go simplify each one of these and see what we can do here. Well, <clears throat> we see a, a pair of 2's here and a pair of x's. Since I have that, that can come on the outside. We have minus 20 times 2 times an x, and then there's nothing left in the square root, so we're kind of done with that. Here, I don't see anything except for a pair of x's. So the pair of x's come to the outside, so we have 5x here. The square root of 2 times 5, which is left over on the inside, we're going to leave it like that, 2 times 5 for right now. Okay? Well, this next one here, a minus, well, there's no pairs going on, right? There's no pairs, 5, 2, and the x's, so I'm going to leave as 4 times the square root, and 5 times 2 is 10, so we have 10x there. Lastly here, we have a pair of 5's, okay, a pair of 5's. So we put a single 5 on the outside, and we're left with a single x on the inside. So let's see if we can tidy this up a little bit and simplify here. Negative 20 times 2 is minus 40, right, 40x 40 here, plus 5x, 2 times 5 is 10, times the square root of 10, minus 4 square root of 10x here in the parentheses, and then plus 5 square root of x. Again, now I look and see if any of the square roots at least have the same thing we're taking the square root of, and that's a negative. So our final answer we have here, it's a long but true final answer, a minus 40x plus 5x square root of 10, minus 4 square root of 10x plus 5 square root of x. So let's recap. We're given 5 square root of 2x plus square root of 5 times minus 4 square root of 2x plus square root of 5x. All parts of my first parenthesis get multiplied by all parts of my second parenthesis. When we do that, we got this here, minus 20 times the square root of 2 times 2 times x times x, plus 5 times the square root of 2 times 5 times x times x, minus 4 times the square root of 5 times 2x, plus square root of 5, x, 5 times 5x. Simplifying that down, 5 with 2 5's pairs come on the outside here as a single, a uh, pair of x's come out here as a single, and the 2 and the x pairs come out to be a 2 and an x on the outside here. Okay? This 5 times 2 is simplified to be 10. Okay? Then we simplify from there, just kind of multiply it out, or minus 20 times 2 and 2 times 5, we get 10 and minus 40 there, or reverse there, minus 40 times 10. So again, this gives us our final answer here of just a minus 40x plus 5x square root of 10, minus 4 times the square root of 10x plus 5 square root of x.